going on YouTube? Test day is finally here for the arc build and I'm excited. <laughs> I went with the seven inch handguard length and I'm using a um, five and a quarter inch KK industry barrel and one of their slim f uh, flash cans, which is about, I think three inches. And all together that makes it just barely poke out over the um, end of the handguard there, which was perfect. That's exactly what I was wanting. Um, other than that, I'm using a KAW, or Call Valley, however you want to say it, um, bulk carrier group. I almost forgot what I was going for a second. <laughs> and yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. Oh yeah, I used I went with the Gibbs charging handle. I didn't use the um, DIY one. I just went ahead and bought it. I had a little extra Christmas funds at the time. So yeah, I'm gonna load up uh, one round of 115 grain here and let's see how she runs. Yep. Don't forget my ears. Choo -choo. All right, here's me chambered. <laughs> Make sure it's all the way in. Test shot. Woo! <laughs> all right, did that, that eject? Yep. Got an empty bolt. Cool. Oh yeah, and I just threw this uh, True Glow red dot on there. It was, let me take my ears out here. That was the red dot on my um, JTS shotgun. You can see that in a bunch of my other videos. Cool. All right, well, let's go uh, load up multiple. Woo! Alrighty, I've got five rounds of 115 grain loaded up. Let's go ahead and see how she uh, performs semi-automatic. Looking for a right-sided charging handle on my left side. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do one more away from my face. All right, let's shoulder it. I mean, let's brace it. <laughs> oh, that red dot's a little off. Cool. I like it. All right. We're going to go start speed some things up here. Woo. And I'm sorry for all jittery. It's fucking freezing. Once again, I didn't dress appropriate. It's always way colder here at the range I'm at than at my um, actual house. So, woo. All right. We're back. All righty. I've got 10 rounds loaded up with the same 115 grain. I don't know why I keep telling you all that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do what you all came here for, and that's a mag dump. Half mag dump. Third mag dump. <laughs> Ammo's expensive. Mag. <laughs> the recoil is very little. Like I'm surprised at how little recoil there is. That's that's cool. This thing is functioning like a champ. I do have a uh, like nine millimeter um, buffer weight in here. I think it's like five and some change ounces, which is I think a little heavier than the um, standard one. Um, so that might have a little something to do with it. But dang, that is just shooting sweet as heck. Awesome. Cool. All right, let me load up some more. <laughs> Okie dokie everybody. I went and shot about five rounds off camera and sided it in a little bit there so I could actually do some plinking and not look like a fool. Um, but I'm just going to do some transitions on the plate, do a little bit on the silhouette, and then after that I've actually got some old frames that uh, messed up on printing that I'm going to shoot just because uh, why not. Alrighty, let's go. different than shooting these targets like I do every time. Woo! Alrighty, the first piece I have up on the chopping block is actually the lower receiver for this build. My um, first one I printed, I messed up. It got stuck to the plate. And instead of being an intelligent human being and letting it cool down and maybe even putting it in the fridge and just popping it off, I decided to try to crank up the heat until it got hot enough where I could just pull it off. I got it too hot and I warped it. So it's trash. So let's shoot it. <laughs> Alrighty, 
So that <laughs> that first shot, I almost took out Invader Zoom there. Um, he looks like he's freaked out about how close it was. And that was, it was actually a really thin spot. So of course it just blew right through and out with the uh, mag releases on this side too. Um, I'm gonna go set this one back up and try to shoot right there on the end. Cause this from pretty much here, all the way here is solid plastic, solid infill all through there. Um, then maybe I'll shoot it like back through here. That's fairly solid except for the uh, hole for the bolt that goes all the way through. Cool, let me set it back up. Woo. All right, let's see here. Can I hit it? I was close, we'll see. It was a perfect hit. I hit, I took out uh, Invader Zim's dog. I'm spacing on the, the name of it right now. I know it's like a little robot. Um, it actually looks pretty cool. There's the infill. Hopefully that focuses on that. Well, that was cool. I had to have uh, hit it like right there. It just blew the whole front chunk off there. Cool. Okie dokie. Well, I might just go line up several of them and shoot them all back to back real quick. Whoop. Okie dokie. I've got um, the four messed up pieces that I bought out here today. I promise you all those are all beyond salvaging. Um, so I thought what better way to send them out than to shoot them. So I'll just take them all out right now. Ooh, oh, oh, goodbye. Well, that went way over my head. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> this this shot made me laugh. I, whoa, whoa. I domed Zim. <laughs> got that. Got a headshot right there. Uh, just blew out the rest of the back there. Oh, that made me laugh. So. <laughs> this one uh, blew the whole front bit off there. You see the uh, end fill. It's always so cool to see that once it just. Choo. So that one. This one I barely nicked. I had took out more wood than I did uh, frame or grip module. So yeah, this one's definitely gonna get shot again. And then, uh, here we go, I hit this one. I must have hit, like, skimmed, skimmed the back of it right there. Oh God, I got shit falling off the wind. Um, I must have skimmed the back because it didn't go through the other side. So it must have just hit there and then that just, the uh, shockwave broke the rest of it off. Cool. For impact shockwave, whatever, you know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna set it back up and shoot him again, because why not? Shoot him again. I'm gonna set it up real quick and do it again. All right, shoot him again. Did that hit the phone? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that's a uh, pretty damn well destroyed on all of them. The the white one went into two. The the lower here is not much left. Blew the bottom of that grip off. This one actually surprisingly did all right. <laughs> Maybe I should have get a better shot and shoot it a little better. Um. Anyhow, I'm gonna go load up the big stick mag with 29 rounds because that's all it holds according to youtube's policy so um yeah that that's what this is in my pocket that that's a that's a 29 round mag everybody 29 i'm gonna go fill it up to the brim and um 
do some more rapid fire because I know that's what y'all want to see. Ooh. Well, both my GoPro batteries had about 35% left, but all of a sudden both of them decided to die. The one that was been in there died, and then I put the other one in there and it died instantly too. So I'm starting to understand why GoPros are starting to get a bad rap because that's kind of a bummer. So we're down to one angle, but whatever. Um, and I've got 29 loaded up here in my 29 round magazine. You too. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of mag dump, a little bit of plate twitching, and yeah, let's have some fun. Oh, oh, that was hard with uh, 29 loaded in there. I had to get a little more ump to get in there. <laughs> Alrighty. Do -do -do. like that we're empty <laughs> that's fun this this is awesome all righty i got 18 loaded in there of aluminum and then a few brass at the end there um and i'm gonna dump them as fast as i can on the silhouette and then call that a day because ammo is not cheap So the reason why I'm starting to get hung up a little bit through that mag dump is the design, and I might shave it down a little bit, is kind of like a backwards trigger job, if you will, because he has, there's, the trigger can go further back down in there, but it stops because he has the trigger guard kind of goes forward on either side of the trigger. That's kind of hard to understand, I'm sure. Um, so your finger kind of stops there. So every now and then I'll, I'll go to pull the trigger, but I won't fully pull the trigger. That's when you see those little like pauses in my mag dump there um but that's no fault of the gun everything's working fine i just i'm not getting a full trigger pull that's on me um if you if you move down lower on it it pulls every time um cool well it ran that was roughly 100 rounds get my ears out so i quit shouting y'all that was roughly about 100 rounds flawlessly um i, I wouldn't call that uh uh, error or whatever you want to call it. I wouldn't call that a, a, a hiccup because that's just part of the design there so the trigger doesn't travel but a little bit and yeah that um awesome 100 rounds ran flawlessly cool all right y'all well until next time y'all have a good day Woo!